This is the new Huawei Porsche Design Mate 10. The Mate 10 is like a beautiful phone. The Mate 10 Pro is an even more beautiful phone. And this looks like it's going to be the most beautiful phone of the bunch with that Porsche insignia around the back. You've got a vertical instead of a horizontal strip to differentiate it. It is a black diamond color. Apparently it looks pretty nice. It's kind of like a blacky, super, super deep, deep dark brown, but more black reflective mirror-ish premium fingerprint magnet albeit but still feels good in the hand and feels rich six inch display it's a wide display wide full hd 18 by 9 aspect ratio so that's two by one eight megapixel camera on the front down below you've got no fingerprint scanner on the front it is around the back supporting gestures as well base of the device has a usb type c and a loudspeaker as well this is indeed a stereo loudspeaker which is awesome left hand side you've got a sim card slot no sd card slot on here unfortunately but you you do have 256 gigabytes of storage which is mightily mightily impressive it's an amoled panel so as you can see super nice super dark super deep around the back you can see the dual camera setup 112 megapixel 120 megapixel the 12 megapixel sensor is rgb the 20 megapixel sensor is monochrome ois on the color one um, no ios on the second though both have f1.6 lenses so hardware wise this is identical to the mate 10 safe for that 256 gig of storage and of course that new porsche type design so you that horizontal that vertical strip the flash looks pretty sweet. You've got four types of autofocus as well. You've got phase detection, you've got depth perception, you've got laser autofocus. So Huawei really is taking this thing to town. I'm taking a quick look through the user interface. It's a Motion UI 8 on top of Android 8. You have an application tray you can bring back, but by default, it isn't there. You've also got a pull down notification tray two tier. Supporting all the things Android 8 brings, like picture in picture, which is sweet. It also supplements the experience. So, for example, you can hide your notification, your applications or navigations bar. You can also um, create a mode so that when you get a notification, you just tap on the corner of that notification. It will open up the notification app in half the screen and the app you're viewing in the other half of the screen. Really good for multitasking and really taking full advantage of that 18 by 9 display. The camera user interface exists exactly what we've come to expect from Huawei. So no flourishes here, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing, given the fact that you've got full manual control, swipe in from the left, and you can see you've also got a whole bunch of other settings too. There's a Kirin 970 processor in here with a focus on AI. If you want to know more about the camera, I've actually recorded a camera walkthrough, so you can check that out when you get a chance. In addition to that, 4,000 milliamps of battery under the hood means you are gonna be lost in all day long with this thing and that Kirin 970 gets you up to 1.2 gigabits per second download speed so it's going to fly we're going to be getting a Mate 10 Pro in late today and for review so you likely expect exactly the same kind of results when it comes to battery when it comes to camera performance that you would from the Porsche design one key difference being that 1395 euro price tag and of course that shiny shiny fingerprint loving but still very very slick design hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs up button all that good stuff subscribe to the channel stay on top of everything we do and comment in the comment section below it helps fuel what we decided to do in future videos thanks